I'm Miles McGuire. I'm a professor of journalism at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, and uh, this semester we're working on a advanced reporting project to cover the Winnebago County Courts, and we're going to be doing this using various kinds of digital technology, and we'll be distributing our reports over the internet. Students in this class are advanced journalism students in our program, and that means that they have already uh, completed a number of courses that cover um, best practices, methods, ethics, and so that they have a good grounding in, in the basics of journalism. I've, I've taught this course um, over the last decade or so, and never been completely satisfied with how to structure it. All good reporting is based on pursuing things that are not known. Um, that's how you get to good stories. But in a 14-week uh, semester, the risk that you run is that you will run out of time, and so the students won't be able to get traction. And the one area that, that I think um, will provide a good working environment is the courthouse, because there is a constant flow of cases. Uh, there are always new things that are happening in the courthouse, so I know that there will be substantive material for the students to work with, but I'm also betting that they will find bigger and better stories there, sort of below the surface. But even if they don't, they will still have a good experience of covering uh, interesting stories that are often not told. Here in uh, Oshkosh, here in Winnebago County, we do have um, a very interesting history in that um, our chief prosecutor was sentenced to jail um, after a federal investigation that found that he had thoroughly corrupted the system of justice in Winnebago County. That happened 10 years ago, and um, I think that um, those things have been put pretty much into our past, but I don't know that anybody has gone to check and see. Uh, the courts in Wisconsin in particular are uh, open and transparent. Uh, but o that openness and transparency doesn't do us good if we don't have people that as journalists, uh, as watchdogs, looking out, checking to see uh, what in fact is going on in the courthouse. There's a tremendous amount of power that is held by uh, judges and prosecutors who literally can send people away. You know, they can take their freedom from them. And um, in the case of the, the uh, county prosecutor who went to jail, he was abusing that power. And uh, I think the best way to make sure that the power is not being abused is by having some journalistic entity or working journalists checking to see, um, looking through the records, uh, showing up at hearings, writing accounts of what's going on in the courthouse. And so, yes, I think that there is a value to the whole community because we will be checking and we will be writing up and reporting on what it is that we discovered. I think some of the stories that you may read on the site will amaze you. <laughs> you will be surprised to hear of such things happening in the community, but they have been thoroughly documented by police and by investigators, and that's what our reports will be based on. So um, I think they will produce a very credible report, create a credible website that will be worth returning to.